Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome to another RPG Crawler's first look. This time for Grand Guilds, which is currently on Kickstarter. It is being developed by, I believe, Drix, uh, and they are looking to put it up on Steam and quote-unquote DRM-free sites, which I can only hope that includes GOG. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a story-driven tactical RPG with unique card combat mechanics, so they say. And this is the demo, which they link on their site, and is actually accessible uh, via another site as well. And I will put the links in the description below for those who want to take a look. Uh, now, I cover these Kickstarter-type uh, Kickstarter uh, setups, even though... I know a lot of them don't go through because occasionally one does catch my eye and I figure, hey, if somebody wants to take a look at it without actually having to go through the process of downloading it and cracking it open, then I may as well showcase it. So let's go ahead and go directly into the game. I've turned the in-game sound down quite a bit so as not to overwhelm myself. So if it's a little bit too low, then so be it. So it looks like we've got a pretty standard intro. Graphics aren't half bad. I mean, I've seen better, but I've certainly seen worse. And, um... As far as I can tell, it's going to be a strategy RPG, as I, I think I said earlier. Anyway. Oh, it looks like something's happened. Ah, it needs a little bit of optimization and a little bit of uh, camera work done. Okay, not voice. That's okay. That's totally expected with something in this early. Uh, damn it, who are these people? Your guess is as good as mine, Captain. Whoever they are, they're highly trained. One of them took out Calder and Ivan in one fell swoop. Oh, so it does have voices. By now, we should assume that all the Royal Guards have been killed. We need to sound the alarm to alert the City Guard. It's our only chance. All right, so there's the Duchess. I'm finalized a thank you, but we should leave immediately. I fear I'm, I know I may know who's behind this plot. We will get you to safety for now. Please activate the distress shield crystal I just gave you. We don't know how many of these guys are still left. Good. That should do it. Please stay inside the barrier while we secure the area. So we've got some sort of mystical barrier. No. Oh, they got owned. Defeat all enemies, all heroes are eliminated as the my lose condition. Click on a tile to move your selected unit. Moving can be done only once per turn and costs one action point. So it uses one of those action point, like move and then attack type deals. Alright, card abilities. Cards are using its abilities to attack, defend, heal, and more. Each card costs action points. You can play multiple cards per unit per turn. Click on the card to use it. I'm presuming I only have one action point left this turn. Or maybe I don't. Let's try Heaven's Blade. Not enough action points. Okay. I do have one action point ready, though. Which I probably should have maintained for later. End turn. So it does use that action point system, but it looks like... I'm hoping I get more than two. There we go. I got three this turn. Each hero has an ability that can be used once per turn. This ability is always available at the cost of two action points, which I presume for her is the Ether Slash. We'll go ahead and do that. I do not need to use willpower. Yeah, I, I could. She's not at max. There you go. End that turn. Ouch. See, this is where the uh, whirlwind could have done. Okay, got camera controls. Yeah, not too bad. Like Final Fantasy Tactics style uh, camera controls. Rush deals 8 damage. This deals 16. Oh, and it seems that she gains additional... She, she gains additional uh, action points each turn. I'll go ahead and finish one of these. And then save that one. Yeah, she's kind of a badass. I don't, I don't mind that. At least, you know, for the tutorial. 
Let's go ahead and try Heaven's Blade. And then rush to do 8 damage. Not too bad. It's just the tutorial and the demonstration. I, I I thought that combat system was going to be a lot more irritating than it actually turned out to be. That was actually not half bad. I'm usually not a big fan of card-based combat systems. Because it leaves you somewhat at the mercy of the RNG. I don't mind being at the mercy of the RNG except for those fa those times when you get dealt an entire hand of stuff that you can't use. Okay. Well... Yeah, so she's got to escort the Duchess away. Yes. What? Barry. We need to alert the city guard and escort the Duchess to safety. Owned. What is the meaning of this? Damn it! I can't move. Get your resistances up then. How dare you? You morphed into one of my men. I bound your shadow to your body. You won't be able to move for a while. Your grace. Activate the shield. Why don't you activate the shield? <sighs> yeah, she's just talking. It's not working because you just used it. Owned. So much for the Duchess. Damn you. Well, there he goes, and there's my my attempt to guard the Duchess has failed. Because of a storyline issue. Looks like that was a well-orchestrated attempt. So what's the next mission? So the whole premise of this... Oh, seven years later. So I guess the place goes into war. Yeah, that camera is hitching and hitching and hitching. It needs some optimization. But, you know, that's to be expected. It's not too bad to design. Kind of gets some more texturing on this road a little bit. This place has been so long. She doesn't look a day over what she did seven years ago. I'm almost out of tea. Perhaps I should go to the market and buy some before I visit the guild. Alright, so these thugs are in charge of the city. I guess. No! Stopped. Are you alright? Little one, that dude looks to be in his 30s, just short. Might need to. Might need to adjust that. <laughs> this guy looks younger than the one she just stooped to talk to. Now, that was quite a show, right. wasn't it? So she's going to get involved. Still doesn't have our money. That's enough reason to cause an accident. You're lucky that child didn't get hurt. I don't like your tone, Missy. Oh, you're going to start something? I want double the money. Pay for the exact amount he owes you. No more, no less. Good. Bobby. Oh, oh. Wrong words, dude. You have no idea who I am, do you? Ouch. Right. So here's what we're going to do. Yeah, she's going to own them. I actually like her so far. Come on, let's go ahead and do this. She's doing the whole knight thing, that, and she does it well. Okay, this time we get to learn about different card types, which is probably going to make the, complex, the combat system a little bit more complex and probably start showing me why I don't like uh, card-based combat systems. Got physical damage, magical damage, and utility skills. Yeah, I can handle that. So let's, I guess, go to there. That's really all I can do. So you get one additional action point each turn. Challenge. Yeah, let's taunt one of these. I presume these guys can't one-round me. Basic Slash. 
Can't quite use 100 blades. I can go ahead and ether slash this guy. And then heal myself. It should automatically go to end turn if you're out of combat, or if you're out of action points, unless there are zero action point cards, which may be a possibility. Let's go ahead and do Armor of Blessing, and Aether Slash on this guy. I'll be able to do 100 Blades next turn. Ah. <sighs> A hundred blades. Step aside. Yes. Owned. Ha. Oh, these guys hit pretty hard. Oh, no, he's hitting me twice. So I'm going to ether slash him. Get my honor's blessing up. And then whirlwind slash him just to just to own him. No, I didn't want to move. And why couldn't I click on whirlwind slash? This is stupid. Let's finish this. All right. Sorry for the inconvenience, Captain Eliza. Oh, so these aren't the guys in charge. They're just random ruffians happening to accost a cart driver in the middle of the damn street right in front of the city gates. Where were these guys? Thank we'll take it from here. Wait, Eliza? The Eliza? Oh, so this is how you... Thank you, Mr. Exposition Thug, the strongest member of the Lux Deus Guild. Lux Deus. That's right, scumbag. You messed with the wrong woman today. Who in the right mind would pick a fight with the captain of the Royal Guard? Former captain. Former. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we'll be off now. And now this guy is going to have to pay a no. debt. Don't thank me just yet. you got to pay for that. Next time, pay your dues on time. Now, about your debt, I want you to donate whatever you owed them to charity. I'm sorry. Well, you didn't think you were getting away with free money? Of course not. Once you have it, you better have it. I'll be paying you a visit next. I actually am really genuinely liking this so far. Right. All right, the tea shop should be around here somewhere. Is this where we get to learn to use markets yep. and such? Oh no, more storyline. Hello. You're back. No one said you'd be returning today. It's all right. So he's glad to see me, I guess. Don't think any of our guildmates missed my nagging at all. So she was gone from a guild for a year. I guess that's like par for the course here. Oh no, more trouble. What the hell is going on here? This is your idea of a surprise? Alright, eliminate all enemies, and what are these things? Deck mechanics. Each character in your squad has their own set of cards. At the beginning of each turn, you draw one card per character. Yeah, I've already got that part. <sighs> so what? These look like some sort of undead, are they? Yeah, these guys are skeletons. Skeletons! All right. I think it's okay if I just use this guy as a backup mage. That's what he's there for. This guy's an offensive mage. I need to take take the mage out first. All right. Tell you what. I'm gonna taunt this guy. That's all I can do. I guess I could have got by without taunting him. 
This guy's gonna, like, own me. Oh, that's not too bad. I'm gonna challenge this guy next. Do my job as a tank. So Ice Lock covers them in ice, I guess. Of course. Is this guy stunned or he's still taunted? I think he's still taunted. We'll take this one out. Take the caster out first. Ow. Ow, this guy really is hitting me. Okay, Whirlwind Slash. Do it again? Can I do it again? Yes! And one more. Once again, take the caster out first. So we'll do water shot on this guy. And then I guess ice lock just to stun him. Yeah. So even though it gives him armor... Oh, now this guy's free to attack me. Ah. Come on, Heaven's Blade this guy, because he is taunted. That's all I can do. Ow. Oh, it's because my, my caster is stunned. It's 100 blades, this guy. Okay. So let's go ahead and just... Healing Rain. And I think that's all I can do. Except move away. Understand. I'm making this way more complex than it needs to be. Ow! Stop it! Understood. Allow me. Yeah. Now it's a matter of going ahead and um, just finishing up the combat. Come on, water shot him. Water refresh myself. Sorry, I didn't see the targeting thing over there. I'm not used to the interface a little bit. It's actually not a bad interface. I'm actually pretty impressed. For something as early in development as this is, it, it feels alright. I mean, it clearly needs work, but it feels okay. Now I've leveled up, let's see how the level up mechanic works. Or whether it's automatic, care to explain what those things were. I think I've seen a They're skeletons! They're skeletons. They live inside you. They're just wasting to burst out. Okay. The Grim Grimoire Thief. Right. Okay, Miss Eliza, you're back. The city is under attack. I've already sent some of our guild members to aid. Editor! Gotta, gotta, gotta finish that sentence there. Reports say that the creatures are attacking the outskirts of what? the city. Alright, these creatures appear from the ground, but we didn't encounter any on our way here. Where's Master Lyria? She is at the annual guild summit with the other guild members. Mm -hmm. Did anyone recently check the master's quarters? Cadmus, come with me. We need to check something. Oh, they had like a a book of dark magic or something in there. Watch. I knew it. This is you there. This is a restricted area. Put the book down. Are you jealous that I can read? Well, don't make me slap the ever-living hell out of you. Okay, time to take this dude out. And he's a straight-up necromancer. Yeah, let's not just ask him nicely. Let's go ahead and take him out. 
No use to talking to corpses, right? Yeah. Replace up to two cards. Oh, so now I can replace cards. I'm going to re replace water refresh with ice lock, I guess. All right. Rush forward. Oh, and, and then rush actually does let me move, too. Nice. I do like this building up action points thing. I've seen it in another game before. It's not unheard of. Let's go ahead and own this guy real quick. Or, you know, at least damage him. Ice lock that guy. Take out the main guy. Ow. Stop it. Yeah, we're gonna have to run up here. And then bring my caster in. Aqua Blast. Stun him. Yes. Oh, now that's unstunned. Ah, what what was that little hop for? That was weird. That was really weird. Alright, go ahead and boost my armor. Water Nebula. Have a drink. Okay, you need work on your one-liners, dude. Don't it's a little me. bit lame. Have a drink. Oh, come on. Yeah, I could see where there's some real potential in this, honestly. I'm enjoying it. And we can kill this guy's summon, too. Because apparently summons don't die when you kill the main guy. Hopefully I'll be able to heal up. Except I think I may not need to. Boom. Just do multiple attacks there. I think the action points per turn top out at five. <clears throat> Come on, four more. And then rush them. Not too bad. I mean, the tutorial stuff is easy, I know. It's just supposed to be a tech demo. It's supposed to be demonstrate what the game is like. I'm enjoying it so far. I mean, it's just one of those strategy tactics games where they just pit one encounter after the other after you. Did you say that to everyone you beat, you have now been defeated? Why, thanks for stating the up. Slap the hell out of him! That's the kind of stuff that would, would res result in just severe beatings. So who is the lady? Seriously, my... Ha, uh, don't make me laugh. Seriously, my ribs hurt. I'm not telling you. No use talking to people that the enemy escape, no. right? Don't you even dare, Cadmus. <laughs> oh. How the hell did he escape? He's, he was bound up. She's why you need to beat the hell out of prisoners. Why didn't I see that coming? Because you weren't using the back of your fist. What, what happened here? Huh. You're too late. Well... A masked man infiltrated the guild. He was the one who summoned the monsters. We believe he was after the guild's grimoire. We defeated him, but he managed to escape through a portal. Weren't you in the marketplace? How did you know he was here? No. I didn't. The captain did. Yes. The attack on the city was a decoy. The only uh, place in the city that we have any real barrel, have any real value, are the Imperial Bank and our guild headquarters. That's kind of self-centered. I mean, I mean, it might be true, but a little bit self-centered. 
suspect he was luring everyone out so he could quietly steal the grimoire. Why didn't he just attack the guild head on? Because then he'd have to deal with everybody. Well. He wasn't very good at it, but he still got away. Is this his blood? Huh? I may be able to track him with this. Yes, Maverick's some sort of uh, blood magic. I guess. I guess. He's not far from here. Must be because of the injury. He's headed northwest. Wow. You really have to teach me that so I can find my lost shoes. Shoes don't bleed! Very well. Great, we've got an airhead. Cut him off or right on behind you? Don't. You should have given her orders not to engage. You're going to show up and she's going to have already been, been beaten, I bet. Nope, there she is. I don't know if you're the one we're looking for. He's wearing a mask, but you have a mask and you're injured and you look shady, so you're probably him. Good, good observation, Ray. Who the hell are you? How'd you find me? Never mind, I'll just have to erase you. Stop. Enough, you're sorry. Dude, he's just going to teleport again. I already warned you, give up now or I'll break every bone in your body. That's the best line you... Yeah, he... this masked man has a point. Eliza really needs to work on her one-liners. Okay, he keeps on telling her he sh that she can't read. Is that true? Is she illiterate? Tell me who you're working for. What makes you think I'm working for someone? Because you literally just said earlier on that you were working for someone. Well. Okay, so he's going to try and erase everybody. Now he's got friends. I, I don't want to replace up to two cards. Did he just teleport again? Yeah, he just teleported again. This is getting old. We'll do. I wonder if elevation matters in this game. I guess I'm about to find out. Wow, she's got a lot of movement. This is the guy. Okay. Let's go ahead and just get my main character over there. You can stun this guy. And that'll be all right. Move and no, no, I didn't want to move there. Okay, this, this, this thing where I'm clicking on a card and it clicks on the ground instead needs needs to be worked on. And I understand it's still early days, but I would really hate to see that go into even a beta, because that is frustrating. All right, let's take this guy down. See about locking him in place. Freeze. All right. I well, should be able to move there and then charge. This is gonna stay. Not too bad. Could be worse. <coughs> Ow. Dude, get off my airhead. She didn't do anything to you guys. Um. I don't think I don't think rush of blades or whatever works. Boom. It's good enough for her. It's got 15. Let's do aqua blast. And then water shot. Free your mind. So he's almost dead, but he's stunned too. So these do a lot of damage. Wow. Let's do energy surge. 
and just finish Sky off. So these cards are based on strength damage. There's damage goes up with my strength, so that's that's all right. I can I can handle that. <laughs> Man, she really is mobile. I guess there's an undo button that appears in the upper left hand corner. This is not bad doing so far. I stand ready. Use one to here. Brush this guy. Cause we gotta take the caster down. Can certainly handle that. <laughs> okay, R R ragdoll physics never fail to amuse me. Don't underestimate me. Let's go ahead and area of effect this guy from afar. Yeah, I think we can take our. Let's. Yeah, let's. Uh... Let's take this guy down first. Well, not down, down, but do damage to him. Not enough action points. Just severely wound this guy. Man, they're aiming at Ray. Right, let's try 100 blades. Just to take this guy down. For no other reason than to take that guy down. Cannot lose. And then we'll heal what's her face. Ray. I don't understand why that escaped me. Why did that name escape me? Let's just own this. Boom! Man, she hits like a truck. I like her. I mean, I find her annoying, but she 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 is not a bad character. So far, in terms of the role playing aspect, I really like the main character Eliza. But I find Ray highly highly annoying. But I like her abilities, so I would still put her in a group if I had the choice. All right. I just I wanted to see you die, but that's what I have to do. What are you talking about? Speak. Oh, oh what's that? Death. Please tell me I'm not the only one seeing this. Focus, everyone. There's no time for chit chat. Eliminate all enemies. Wow, this is like death itself. Yeah, I'm I'm not going to replace any cards. Some units occupy more than one tile. Area effect attacks deal more damage to these units. Yikes. Nice, so he's got... Yeah, I don't have anything I can use, so I'm just going to wait. Ah, uh, I don't have anything yet. Well, I can try and stun him. I do like how the stun goes off regardless. I don't know if that's going to be fixed later or what. That buys me time. So basically what it was all about was buying me time. Okay. Can we can we keep him stun locked? Free your mind. Well he's moving now, but he's still stunned. Alright, lightning spear. Can we just keep them stun locked? All right. Heaven's blade on him. Come on, keep them stun locked. I only have one more stun. It's gonna suck. No one needs healed. Burst shock. Ah, st well, I've got a stun. May as well stun. Let's 
Yeah, I had to really click on that for it to go through. The cards aren't terribly responsive on occasion. Alright. I don't quite have them down to half. Rush. Half would be 80, so... I don't want to see what this guy does when he gets to move. Okay, he's under half. But I'm out of stuns. I should have done energy surge, but that's okay. Alright. Uh, now he gets to move. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, so that's not that bad. Let's taunt him. Ether slash him. The music is okay. It's not bad. It's just kind of generic. That's my only issue. Water shot him. And then water refresh so he doesn't instantly die next turn. Alright, energy surge. Boosts all my damage. Magnum Fulgar. And then normal attack. No, no, she doesn't have any. No, no attack points left. Let's go ahead and end this. And whirlwind slash. Oh, she's gonna be one short. One short. Oh wait, there it goes. Not too bad. I have no problem with this game so far. It is really nice. Like Alright, what the hell was that? It was like death. For the first time in my life, I have no idea. I have no idea, really. Regardless, that was pretty exhausting. Do you know what that was? Yeah, I just got blood in my mouth. You didn't get hit! How did you get blood in your mouth? Did you bite someone? No. Or maybe she is just an expression of, of I'm going to like kill somebody. All right, Wait. need to head back to the guild. This wasn't normal. There's nothing left to do here. We should return to the guild. We still don't know if anyone was harmed. Uh, that's a good point. You've got nothing that you can do there besides like loot the uh, dead guy. Amelia or Amelia, we're back. Miss Eliza, thank goodness you're back. Her posture, I mean, I, go, I get what they're going for, but the hands folded, yeah, that, that needs a little, models need a little bit of adjustment. I like the overall art design. I, I will say this, I like the overall art design. There was a man, and then he walked out, and then Master Lyria came, and then um, there were huge explosions, and the Master completely trashed the place. Well, if you say it like that, it would seem like I'm to blame. Oh, Eliza, you're home. You're here? Yes, I want to surprise you. So much for that. Wait, you're fine? Are you hurt? Oh, don't worry about me. I'm completely fine. Uh, did she just trash the place? Yeah, she trashed the place. Oh, it's one of those, like... It's an anime... Uh, I, I don't know the exact term for it, but it's like uh, an anime thing where you've got kind of like a ditzy uh, but in-power kind of person that lets their tum temper get away from them. If somebody knows, put it in the description below. I, I'm not a big uh, anime fan. Um, I mean, I like some anime, but I can I can tell what they're going for here in terms of the personality. Uh, you're the guild's master, after all. Oh, you're right. I am the guild master. Okay, guys, clean this up. Immediately. See what I mean? I didn't mean it like that. Captain. It's exactly the response that would have been given. I think you need to see this. What? What's the meaning of this? Is, is that the dead dude? What? Isn't that the man we just defeated? But he exploded right in front of us. Hmm. I don't think this is the same man. I've never heard of someone coming back from the dead with all wounds and clothing intact. 
There's a completely different person with the same face. I swear I didn't mean to destroy the place. Oh, you're still on about that? Okay, well, let's see. There's a charm on the guild's grimoire which keeps the book safe. This charm sends a long-distant telepathic message to me whenever the book leaves my room. Not only that, it also prevents the book from being teleported anywhere. So when this masked man walked out of my quarters, I was immediately alerted of it. I teleported here as fast as I could. Then I killed him. Hmm. And when did this battle happen? Well, I wouldn't really call it a battle, but it was about 15 minutes ago. We were engaged in a battle with a masked man 15 minutes ago. This is a completely different person. One thing's for sure, this is an elaborate plan. They've got, like, clones they're sending after me. Who knows how many more they have? Yeah, if they can just churn them out like that. I may be able to help. Now, what did you have in mind? Here, I've collected the blood samples of both men. There, There is a non-human who goes by the name of Zeno. He lives on top of the Zredron. It's red on mountains. Bring him these vials and tell him that you need to see through their eyes. You'll know when you get there. I hate I hate quests like that. All right, so I'm not going to play through the whole thing unless it finishes right here, but I'm going to wrap it up here. This is now on Kickstarter, and I will put the link in the description below. So if it interests you, you know, check it out, check it out. Uh, I will be looking forward to seeing if it comes out regardless of the success or failure of the Kickstarter. I think they have something here. I think it needs a little bit more work, but I am actually quite pleased with what I see in terms of the overall quality of play and the overall quality of the storyline. Um, I'm sure there's more to it than that, but uh, I'm going to wrap it up here. This has been the RPG Crawler with my first look of a Grand Guild, a, a tactical RPG. If you like what you've seen, remember to leave a like, comment if you got any feedback, and subscribe for more RPG content, both tabletop and computer. Until next time, take care and goodbye. All right, uh, gonna do a little bit of an addendum. I uh, I cut off the recording, and then like immediately you get an airship, and you get it concludes the story part of the demo, um, but you get these side quests that you can go on. But more importantly, I get to see uh, the various options here. So you've got quests, which you'll have guild quests and story quests that you can go on. You can find them on the map or abandon them. And I would presume that you can pick them up in places from the world map later. Uh, then you've got your characters over here, and you can actually do level up options. And you've got strength, intelligence, and vitality on her. You can change the deck that she uses with cards that you find uh, right here. Uh, as you go through the world, apparently you can find additional cards and then build them up in here. And then you can assign stat points over here. So what I think with her, I'm going to boost her intelligent or her strength and her vitality because most of her stuff is strength and vitality based. Whereas for him, most of his stuff is intelligence based. Um, and for her, you know, I don't know. I think strength-based. And then you can uh, basically customize them with what you find. I think I think that's nice. Anyway, just a quick aside there. I cut it off, like, literally just a couple minutes too early. Uh, or else I would have shown that in the main one. And I guess, I guess I am showing the main one. Anyway, once again, this has been the RPG Crawler. Take care and goodbye.